Hello everyone, so as I promised last time, uh, I said I'm going to make a content about how to use DualSense controller on their PC. And today, I'm going to show you exactly that. So a couple of prerequisites. Uh, first, you have either DualSense controller or DualSense Edge controller. The second is you have your Steam download and you have your account register. You can log in without any problem. So those are the prerequisites for this. As I as I said, this uh, in this way you don't have to install any DSX or DS4 Windows, those third-party drivers. Uh, things just work with Steam right out of the box. And the game that I'm using for demonstration is Apex Legends. So if you don't know, Apex Legends normally shows a you know the the controller action buttons on screen if the controller mode is enabled. Apparently now the controller mode is disabled. It's not recognizing my controller at all. So if I press buttons or I tilt the thumbstick, stuff like that, it's, it doesn't work, right? Um, so to fix this problem, I'm going to show you two ways of doing that. So the first way is you ena enable your controller input for a specific game that you want to play. The second way is, is your enabling your controller input globally so it affects all the games that that's installed under uh, steam console or it also affects the, the games that you added to your steam library as a non-steam game so uh let me go back to my desktop so i can show you how to do that all right so in this case we're using apex legends what you want to do as you go ahead uh, it can be any game again. You click this gear button and you go to properties and you go under controller. So by default, uh, in the overrider for Apex Legend, the section, the drop down is selected as the uh, use default settings. So in this way, it's not going to interpret your inputs to the uh, game input. What you want to do is enable Steam input and as easy as that so you want to close that and relaunch the game okay so now my game is relaunched as you can see the controller action button appears there right if i press x button or cross button on my playstation dual sense edge controller and it will be recognized as a button so this is one way of doing that, enabling your controller input for a specific game. All right, so now let's uh, let's go back to desktop and um, and enable this thing globally. So I'm first going to do is I'm going to go ahead to the section that I just uh, you know enabled my Steam input. I'm going to you know, revert it back to the default settings. All right, so now you go ahead to Steam and you click Settings. Under Settings window, you want to go ahead to Controller. And under the Controller, there is an external gamepad settings. So you want, you want to select this Enable Steam Input for PlayStation Controllers. You want to enable this. And you can see apparently here is a you know, gamepad icon sort of displays right next to the title. And, and that's it. And if you click play, okay, so now you can see it's still working. All right, so that's basically how you enable your DualSense Edge controller or DualSense controller input under uh, Steam console. So now head back to desktop. Here comes how you do the button remapping. So if you have happen to have the uh, DualSense Add controller, you have extra buttons on the on the controller's back, as well as the front, uh, right below the thumbsticks. You have the uh, you know function buttons. Under PlayStation Five, those function buttons cannot be remapped, but fortunately, under place uh, under PC, more specifically under Steam console all those four buttons can be remapped. Um, so for doing that, you want to go ahead to click this controller icon that 
just added by like enabling global stem input. Okay, by clicking that, you can see now it's using the official layout for Apex Legends gamepad with camera options. And now you can have these like quick settings for uh, what button you want to remap this uh, function button. I believe this is function button one on the on the left side and function button or or it can be vice versa. So uh, you can tweak this around. And um, if you want to edit this uh, further or you want to get into the advanced mode, uh, you can click that. On one second. So you can click this edit layout. And in the layout, what you can do is you can even tweak the, for example, the gyros and the trackpad. And um, the last tip is if you want to edit this layout, you can, instead of like editing this official layout for Apex Legends directly, what you can do is you can first click this gear button and you export layout and then make your own layout so you don't accidentally override the official layout for uh, for Apex Legends and then you apply the layout that you just just exported or you just added it to that so in that case you don't mess up with the official layout but at the same time you have your own layout so that's how you do it and uh, this is it for this video it's very simple you don't have to cost four dollars uh you know uh for for that uh you know ds dsx stuff on steam library um yeah that's pretty much it thank you guys for watching um bye